Hello, my YouTube fam. Today, let's talk coins. So, what I got to show you here is I got me some pennies to show you, and it's a few nickels. But let's start off with some pennies here for you. We all know this penny. This is our this is our standard backing for most of our pennies, besides the new shield pennies, which I think are pretty ugly, but I got that yesterday. But as you know, that's just the rate that's just the regular backing for pennies, right? Let's see if I find a correct one. I think this is the one I need to show you that has a date. We're gonna talk some good pennies on this one. Okay, on this penny right here, let's give you a date. Do you know what it is to look for? 1992D. Remember that, 1992D. That's a good penny. And I'll tell you why. Okay. Block the light source a bit there for you. 1992, 1990, yeah, sorry, 1992 and 1992D pennies have, right back here in these columns, have doubling. And if you look right there, you can see that. That's almost like a doubling right there image. That you don't know, see on most pennies. Also, a bit aside there as well, right there, right there. I mean, big time right there. But basically, has has doubling in the columns. That makes that an error penny, making it worth money for you guys. So remember to look for 1992 or 1992D pennies with that specific error inside it, doubling in the columns. Okay, now. Let's give you an interesting one. How about that? 1982. 1982D pennies. I have three of them. Well, not three 1982 pennies. Um, but this one is supposed to have a small date error. I mean, from what I understand, the eight right here is supposed to be look like not a Two circles stacked on top of each other, basically. This is the date error on that one. The small date error. That's supposed to be the, the, the thing that signifies that for you. But, let's see here. We got another 1982. Now, here's one thing for you to notice. What about 1982s? Look at the dates on that. Look, look at how crisp this date is. You can actually see it. It's slender. Look how fat that is. If you look at that 8 right there. It looks like it's broken right there. Let's zoom in on that. Let's see here. Yes, that does look like it is broken and bent in. Look at that 8 right there. That is a die chip. So that makes it an error coin, which makes it worth money. Had to do more research on that to find out for you. But then if you look at the D right here, it's also filled in. Whereas this D is not, you can see it to the bottom of the D. It's a bit fatter D, but it's still nonetheless. Now, let's see here. Let's see if I do another 1982. Let's separate those up. 1984 is a good penny too. 1984 pennies are supposed to have doubling in Lincoln's ear. So in other words, this one does not. So I can't really show the doubling. Sorry about that. Right here in his ear is supposed to be doubled. And this one's not. I apologize about that. I just wanted to talk coins with you so you know what to look for. To help you out find some good coins to make you some money. Well, let's see, what is this last one? 1982. We're going to talk about 1982. It's a small date error. But let's see here, okay. Let's see if I can actually put them all in here. That'd be sweet. We'll go right there. And maybe we'll get them all in here. Maybe. Um, let's see, let's zoom out of that. That's what we can actually look at the um difference in dates on those. 
you got your bottom one right here, 1982. Then it matches this one right here for 1982D. And then you got this one up here. It's a bit more crisp. And it's more square right there. I think these are the supposed small date error ones because the two, the two the two twos match. And this is how the two is supposed to look from what I've read about it and seen videos on it. Yes, I did my research. So I might have two small date error coins right there, which is good for me. Let's see here. We got 1972S. Now, okay, I got another S coin as well. I don't know the significance of the um, San Francisco Mint mark on here. Because I don't really see many coins with an S Mint mark on there. But there are also coins out there with a W Mint mark on them. Those ones are suggested to hold on to as well. Because they could have some good errors on them and make you some money. Like I said, I got 1972. Followed by... 1971. Isn't that beautiful? And they're both the same back. Right here. Okay. Now let's see what this pet this beautiful thing is. 1959. Okay, this this is the regular painting. There's nothing special about it. But if you find one that's a wheat penny. This, that's a 1959D. That's something special. But what you don't know about these pennies, this is a regular penny. It is a basically copper penny. It weighs 3.1 or more grams. Pennies nowadays are made out of a, a nickel alloy that weighs 2.5 grams. So if, measure your, weight your pennies out and take out the 3.1 gram ones because those usually ha will have... The errors on them, but besides that, there also means they're also copper, and copper's worth money. And then let's see here. We got a 1953D. It's a copper, but it's also a wheat penny. We got a 1941. It is also a penny. A wheat penny. Sorry about that. We got a 41D. Also a wheat penny. And then 1925. I've zoomed into that date and that actually is 1925. That makes it my oldest wheat penny. That's my oldest wheat penny I have found. But now let's let's talk nickels. So I got three nickels to show you. So we showed you the backs of uh, certain pennies yesterday. This is how the usual back of a penny a nickel looks, right? You got that right there, that building right there. Right, this is Monticello, five cents, United States of America. You know all the usual jargon, right? Well. This is a 2004 P nickel. Okay, you're thinking nothing special. Well, Louisiana Purchase. How's that for a nickel? You got the Louisiana Purchase on the back of the nickel. So now we have pennies and nickels and quarters with their designs. Here's another one. I already showed you this one nickel as well. But if you look at it, let me put it in the right there in the picture. It's a buffalo. It's the one I told you that had the penis right there. And they, cause I've read on this one. This one's supposed to be this nickel. Just I don't know why, but I'm guessing just because that that mark that penis between his legs or something like that is supposed to be worth anywhere from thirty five cents to a dollar forty five, from what I found out. But as you see, we have multiple different designs out there but until next time my youtube fam may you guys have a wonderful evening and or day depending when you watch this 
And please, if you like my content, hit that uh, like and, that like button. And if you want to get more, hit subscribe and turn the notifications on. Until then, you guys have a wonderful evening.